Hang Seng MPF, understanding fund expense ratio and risk levels. We need to do sports and exercises to keep ourselves healthy and fit. And when we plan to join a gym, we make it a point to check out the gym's environment, equipment, and charges, factoring in safety and risk concerns. But when we are choosing MPF constituent funds, do we think much about their charges or risk levels? If you want to find out the level of charges of a constituent fund, check out the section called Fund Expense Ratio. Fund Expense Ratio is a ratio that measures the expenses of your MPF fund as a percentage of the fund size. The lower the fund expense ratio, the lower the total expenses of the fund in the past year. A fund with a fund expense ratio at or below 1.3% is regarded as a low-fee fund as defined by the MPFA. Keep in mind that fund expense ratio is calculated based on data from the previous scheme financial year. Therefore, the published fund expense ratio in MPF fund fact sheet will not reflect any changes in fees, charges, or expenses in the current scheme financial year. The type of MPF constituent funds is clearly specified in the section named Fund Descriptor. Different types of constituent funds carry different levels of risk. The section named Risk Indicator has more details. You can compare the price volatilities between different funds in the past three years. The larger the number means the greater the fluctuation. Hang Seng MPF Fund Fact Sheet also lists out the risk ratings and risk classes of each constituent fund. A larger number means a higher risk. Risk rating has been available to members since the early stage when MPF was launched. The risk ratings are derived from a combination of quantitative and qualitative factors including price volatility, asset allocation, and liquidity. It is a five-point scale and are reviewed on a regular basis. There is no standardized system for indicating risk ratings in the market, so make sure that you only compare risk ratings between constituent funds offered by the same MPF service provider since the ratings would be derived in the same way and not between constituent funds offered by different service providers. Risk class is newly launched on 31st March 2020. It is a seven-point risk classification scale aims to facilitate scheme members to compare the risk level of constituent funds across different MPF. It is classified based on each constituent fund's risk indicator, which shows the annualized standard deviation based on its monthly rates of return over the past three years, and the risk indicator of each constituent fund is available on the quarterly fund fact sheet. Regardless of whether we are referring to the risk rating or risk class, the potential return of a higher risk fund should be higher than that of a lower risk one over the long run. However, this also means that the fluctuation in returns will be higher. Let's all keep this in mind 